Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, I'm gonna share my workflow for importing photos into Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our site. And one of those free resources is very applicable to this video, and that's my workflow series. It's free, you can check it out via the link below. I had a photo shoot yesterday for a client, and I've mounted my card into the computer via a reader. I'm going to first create the structure where I'd like these photos to live. Let's drill down into 2017 clients. It's January, so I'm gonna choose that month, and I'm going to create a new folder with the client last name. Once that's created, I'm going to press Command N on the keyboard in order to open a new Finder window. Then, navigating to my card, I'm just going to select all of these images with a Command or Control A on the keyboard. At this point, you could press Command or Control C to copy and just paste them, but what I'm gonna do is just drag them into this folder. Essentially, I'm copying them from my SD card into this client folder. And I say copying because actually, before I'm able to get these photos backed up to my Drobo, I want to also retain the photos on the memory card because it serves as an additional backup until they're backed up appropriately, at which time I will reuse that particular memory card. And I just like to verify that the images are indeed there and that looks good. So let's jump over to Lightroom and import these photos by pressing Command Shift I on the keyboard that's Control Shift I on the PC. Now I wanna note something that happens at this point. Because I still have my card mounted onto my machine, I can see Nikon D750 as one of my devices. It shows my photos, and you might be tempted to just go ahead and click Import. But Lightroom would have to copy those files somewhere, or maybe not, you would be working off your card. Any way you look at it, that's not my preferred method. It can be done, but it often leads to issues. So rather than import directly from my card and move them inside of Lightroom, I am going to import them from the folder I created. So I just navigate to the folder where I copied the files earlier. And I want to make an important note here. I am adding these to my Lightroom catalog without moving them. And the reason is, I've already established my file structure on my hard drive. That is, I've copied the images where I would like them to live and I don't wish for Lightroom to move them or copy them. I just want to import them from their current location. And then I can simply choose import. In this video, I simply wanted to share how I import photos into Lightroom. If you would like a more comprehensive view of my workflow, I have created a free workflow video series available on our site at flourish.academy. The link is below. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.